Classic truck rescue. We're on a field trip. Jamie and I are going on a field trip. We're going over to my mom's house. She had a bad fall, by the way. Prayers for my mom, please. But uh, we're going over to her house to have church on her back deck with my pastor and his wife. And while we're there, we're going to do some work on her house. But after I made arrangements to do that, a guy named Eric called me and said, Hey, Rick, I got a whole bunch of trucks I'm trying to get rid of old ones. And he described them to me, and I'm not buying trucks right now, but I am upgrading. So I need an excuse to get rid of about 10 trucks right now, which I've been planning to do, right? And maybe I'll get rid of 12 and get one of his. But I. Better? Anyways, uh. It never hurts to go look, and we love old trucks, and we like taking you guys along to look at them. So let's go see if there's some gems. It's on the way to Mom's house. We're going to two locations. One's halfway between here and my Mom's house, and another one's when you're almost to Mom's house. So it was meant to be. It was meant to be, honey. Field trip. It's a field trip. Let's go. I think that's an old Alfa Romeo over there. Like bridges. You can tell there's a lot of storage going on out Bridge there. To go across the creek. Yeah, right there. Nice square body. Really. That out. Oh, ow, that it's must hurt. have hurt. Look at that. Okay. Holy cow. Yikes. Wow. Yeah, uh, we saw one piece that we would like to have to put over our stream for yeah. a bridge. Oh, it's, there used to be a lot more actually, but some yeah. of those pipes are like an inch thick. It's like, and they sell this stuff? Yeah, there's some guy, oh. this is his, his yard for it. Hang on, we might have to look at some metal. But anyways, this is Eric. He uh, was kind enough to get a hold of me yesterday, said he had some old trucks he wanted to share with us to look at so you are you looking to sell all these trucks Eric? I mean, pretty much yeah okay so if you guys see anything that tickles your fancy let me know and i'll get a hold of uh, do you have prices you know oh, we already talked about yeah, that not, it not really. I mean, depends on the truck if you see something you're interested in get a hold of me this is an old uh 47 to 53 gmc either eight or nine foot bed that's a niner yeah that's a nine really foot nine. bed Eight lugs. i have one of these and uh i'm missing one of the running boards for it my place you'll see i got a, a fire truck one like, of these yeah, yeah with the uh pumper backpack pumper can yeah extinguishers on it is it okay to open your yeah. doors oh, yeah, and yeah. stuff okay i always ask that one's locked i think oh, i working Floors are going in that one. Look at his front end. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's a unique hood burn. It almost looks like it belongs on there. Yeah, it does. It fits pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this. I guess this one's got a mind of its own, huh? Oh, they get those latches get it. stubborn after yeah, a while. Good. This one does have the deluxe stainless around the windows and the inside window garnish moldings. I like the old vans they used to stick on the dashboards. Right. I've got a few of those. Five window. Anyway, uh, so is this frame off of one of these yeah. advanced design trucks? Yep. There's another front clip out here. That's the correct hood ornament, I think, yeah. for this, but it's broke. Half ton pickup. It also is a five window with the deluxe. Home floor's in a little better shape on this one. This one's not bad, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the, the 58 or 9 back there? Yep. Yeah, that's a 58. And that orange truck's on an S10 chassis. Yeah. I turned mine. Floor looks pretty good. 
truck just like it. Does this have an engine in it, Eric? Uh, I can't remember. And that dang that damn lift gate has a mind of its own. Oh, yeah. Well, at least it stopped there. <laughs> I might have a motor in it. Let's see up in the fender well or not. It's got something in it. Yeah. I thought it might, because I think it's still got a, got a tranny in it. Spear. Oh, got the homemade spear <laughs> notch on the passenger oh, side. That's pretty solid. Yeah, George did that to that white one I've got too. Like the camper truck around behind it. Yeah, this got a motor in it too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then the suburbans too. Uh, I just picked up one of these and drug it home. 58. V8 truck. So got the motor in it? Yeah. Pontiac V8. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they were new. Because of the fire, right? Yeah, there was a fire in the in the GM assembly plant in the engine department. What and state was that in? Pontiac, oh, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Pontiac was just down the road and they were getting ready to release the new second series trucks. So they said, well, we'll just put Pontiac engines in them because they're a little bigger than the Chevy ones. Right. And they were selling the, the GMC trucks at the Cadillac dealerships and Pontiac and Buick dealerships. Here's that old oil can. Oh no, it's Rust-Oleum. This one had the deluxe heater. The deluxe trim. I was talking to someone recently and they, they said that they didn't think they had put the deluxe stainless steel trim or molding on the cabs of small window pickups. Well, this is obviously a small window pickup and it's obvious that it had the stainless steel on it when it was built. And it also has the deluxe uh, gauges and knobs and stuff like that in it. Also, another guy keeps insisting that they never put tinted windows in these trucks. Well, this is original glass right here, and that's tinted up there. But, you know, some people just want to argue with the facts. Yeah, there's plenty of that out there. Yeah. In our hobby, right? Right. Here. He's gonna want these. You know he's gonna. You know he's gonna want these. Oh, this is one to 58. He didn't have one of those. Is that the frame for the seat that he needs? I wonder. Okay, let's go look on the other side, Eric. So how long have you had these trucks out here? Uh, probably about five years. Yeah? And when did you start collecting them? Right around then, five, six years ago. Have you, did you, have you built any of them? Uh, yeah, my, the, the fire truck I did. Um, rebuilt the head, lined the wheel cylinder Shoot, the stainless. I already know. You don't well, have a 58 or 9 Suburban. Oh, no, I don't. So, 19... 
56 Chevy Suburban. Yeah. Wow, why does the dash look new? <laughs> Looks like somebody painted the dash. But part of the front seat, the other part of the front seat. And this is the middle row. Looks what happened? Somebody cut it. Man, the guys I work with would be in heaven over here. They're all like Toyota freaks. Oh, yeah. Those are both middle row seats. Here, Devin, this is for you. Look. <laughs> Those are both middle row seats. Wait a minute, this is the part of the front. Oh, this is the other part of the front and the middle row so that it doesn't have the back row. Is the back row a bigger seat? Yeah. Got some stuff right there. Do you like those or the other kind? I like them both. Uh, there's the other part of the front seat. You like the barn doors? Yeah, yeah a lot They're of people do. Cool, but it's, you know. Yeah. So this is a 59 Chevy Apache Suburban. I already know he's going to want this. Got different seats in it. Clamshell tailgate. Got a late model bench in the back, it looks like. Yeah. Shagging wagon. Look at the roof. Look at the, the carpet up there. <laughs> Clamshell tailgate. Oh, get off me. All right. So is that it for? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna go over to the second location, both of which are undisclosed, and uh, I'll talk with Eric when we're off camera. And we'll figure out about where he's at for stuff. But if you see something you're interested in, I'm not buying a whole bunch of trucks right now. I think he might have something that I'm interested in. We'll see at the end of the day. Holy cow, I should have had the, the camera going when we pulled in, folks. Man, you should have saw the high candy when we first pulled off the road. I've been delinquent in my camera. Duties. There's a square body. Oh, there's more old stuff. Another suburban. Another square body. Holy cow. Oh, look at the bar. Oh, my oh. goodness. Holy cow. Here, I got to get my cap cam on. I said, we stopped down at the bottom of the hill. I, oh. I, I said, I should, I'm a delinquent in my duties. I should have been filming when we pulled off the road. Look. What? Oh, the 57 Chevy two-door wagon? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right with you, Eric. <laughs> Holy cow. What a treasure trove. Look at this. 57 Chevy two-door wagon. DD Speed Shop would be all over this. Wouldn't you, Dan? Wow. What we got here? Uh, we've got an old uh, 47 to 53 Suburban. Look at that. That's pretty solid, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm being attacked by bees, but I don't care. I don't care. It's got the correct front seat in it. Here's another clamshell. Uh, 59 Chevy Apache Suburban. Quarters are pretty rough on it. Looks like it's got at least one of the correct seats in it. Holy cow, folks. I hope you can see this. Correct front seat. Uh, and the correct back seat. 
with the correct back seat on that one. Okay. 59. So between all of them, there's enough to put together one set of seats. Oh, I guess I should have looked at the square bodies, but anyway, not today, folks. GMCs. These are the five window cabs. Now Bullfrog, our dump truck, which is that body style, has a five window cab on it. Both of these trucks, oh no, that one doesn't, sorry. But that's like Bullfrog and has the five window cab. The thing you gotta watch out for with the five window cabs is that they rust out a lot around the, uh, look at this door, that's pretty cool. They rust out around the windows. This one's in actually in a lot better shape than mine. But if you can see up there, that might just be the paint cracking on this puppy. Boy, the stories this could... I wish you could smell, folks. I wish you could smell the smells. See this window channel's all rotted. Yeah, see that one's gone. So if you're looking for the five window cabs, you really want to look out for the rot above the windows. I'd have to pass on that one. I'd have to pass on that one, folks. And I just sold two of these. I think I've had about had it with the my low cab forward infatuation. This is crazy. I had no idea. So there's some stuff back in there. Five window, uh, 54 or 5 Chevy, first series. Here is a frame, running gear. And bed for is that eight foot or nine foot bed, Eric? Uh, Got a bunch of cabs back here. That's only international over there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Eight foot. Look at the old flare side. That's pretty cool. I just bought that last year from my fiance's parents. Bought it brand new. Yeah. Oh, so you guys are getting married? Yeah. Right on. Good That's pretty neat. Just got the little one off of college. She's in Colorado. Yeah, this thing has been... So they vacation... Right by the board, like Floribama. Floribama. It's right on the... Or on the, <laughs> the one, Gulf? Yeah. It's right on the Gulf, but it's like... God, what's... Perdido? Yeah. Right by the Alabama border. Mm-hmm. So this has been down there a whole bunch of times. Pack and plays in the back, tents, lawn chairs, coolers. Because she's got two sisters. And they've been going down there for the last 30-something years. And it's moved Good. them all and all over the place. And so I'm going to restore it. It's paid its dues. Yeah, I'm going to repower it. And oh, it's a little body up in there. Her, her youngest is 10, William. So that may be me. Maybe oh yeah. This property, I almost rented this property about ten years ago. Really? And did you tear down the house and build another house? No, uh -uh, that's the original house. I was gonna rent that shop. It didn't have doors right. on it. From Dave and Donna. Yes. Yeah. But I thought they had a tiny little house on this property. Yeah, it is. Up right there, out in front. Huh. Well, we live in a fifth wheel. That's why it looks so yeah. huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our standards aren't real Look at Jethro and Bully. Jethro and Bully. So, the only other one up here is this 40, I don't know, 42 to 46. Look at there, 1946, folks. Yeah, that thing is... That's pretty cool. Like, literally, I put some new plug wires and a cap and rotor, but the loom under the hood is all the cotton. 46 Chevy. All original. Looks pretty complete. 
Wow. We've got a couple of these. Yeah, barnwood. Barnwood, and I've got the GMC version sitting right next to barnwood. Oh, how cool. Very, look at pretty solid. Pretty solid. What was that museum we went to? The trash guy owns in Washington? LeMay's. Um, the Auto Museum yeah, of America. Yeah, it had the one that like this was all black. So this thing here, there's another piece to it. It's a tool made to straighten out the bed rails. Oh yeah? He made it. It's got a little, it's got a couple pieces and you, it's got like a little mini anvil and you get it in there and you you turn this Tap thing on and, it yeah, when that thing's in the right spot. Out, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, guys used to be so innovative with their old trucks. Mm -hmm. I have a... Like Bob? Yeah, and I have a 51... Chevy. You've got the the red one that you've got at the other place. Mm -hmm. It's the white version of that, but all original, all stock. And you'll look in every now and then there'll be a nail welded onto it, oh, bent okay. into a hook, you know, for... Sure. And there's pieces of wire all over it. Mm -hmm. But they're not holding things together on the truck. They're just, he needed wire when he was right. out mending his fences, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is like that. This is pretty cool. Yeah, we should actually look under the hood on this one. It's pretty crazy. It's just like, you know, time capsule. Wow. I mean, I think I. Holy cow. I think it's. Yeah, it's got that, that's the yeah. original insulation on the wires. I wiped off the firewall because I was just like, oh man. Huh. So it was originally blue. That must be pretty rare. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of, most of them are green or black, you know? Or, yeah, this color green. Mold green. I'd love to see somebody. Yeah. Take this away. That'd be cool. Uh, this one I know I got to have at least 7K for. Yeah, I don't think that's. Uh, unreasonable at all. The grill's all there. It's getting it's hard to there. find stuff from yeah. 1940, you know, or the 40s. No, let's go yeah, see that. I've got a ton and a half, 46, up under the wind up there. The yeah, we want to visit okay, back yeah, up we, there. I figured we'd come up here first <laughs> and just kind of... Uh, I already looked at that one over there. That one has the, the back seat. So between all three of them, you could have a complete roll or set of original seats. Oh, I didn't see the. Oh, there's an old school suburb back yeah. there too. Oh. Yeah, I think my buddy's gonna take that one. Yeah, but what about the station wagon? That thing runs. The wagon the 57 runs. Fifty-seven two-door wagon runs. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'd paint this black, and I would like lift the ass end up so high and put right. Kragers on it and. Be the roach coach. I want a hearse like that someday. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pretty nice. Wow, look at that. Holy cow. It still smells good inside. Wow. Whew, that's pretty nice. If you want a really nice square body with a unique color. Probably buff up pretty nice. Let me know. Rick at ClassicTruckRescue.com and I'll uh, bounce your queries off of Eric. Oh really? Yeah. Is that for sale? Yeah. 600 horse twin turbo 12 valve Cummins in it. It's a Fummins. It's a Fummins. Yeah. Can I pop it open? I think it's locked, buddy. I think I need it. I would have locked it too. <laughs> when the guy that sold D stroke one of their companies, yeah, this was part of the payment, and they, they spent two years trying to find this, just the truck itself. And it's got like quad urethane motor mount, trick, really trick transmission programmer. Actually, I just put that in because the other one was really outdated, but 
It's got a gnarly built tranny in it. So <laughs> five seconds, zero to 60 time. 4.7, zero to 60 in this. Wow. Time. It's na it's nasty. It's cool. Cool rancho, you know, radius. Yeah. And stuff and That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I meant to do like a frame off, you know, all that and just. It's pretty nice and great too. Life, life went a different direction. <laughs> I'm familiar with that life going a different <laughs> direction stuff. Are. We didn't have well, one of the old ones. Front end. Yeah, Maybe I saw that over there. there. That's pretty. That's a survivor. Yeah. But the Suburbans Just is what I'm stuff looking at. That we need. That yeah. we need. I think, I think that one, the, the barn door is spoken for. But the clamshell can go with the other ones. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to figure out something to do with you on all three of the Suburbans. Cool. In one lump. Do you have titles for them? I think so, yeah. Okay. Let's go look at the. There was some serious eye candy that we passed up down oh, there. Yeah. yeah. He was telling me a story about his vet. He's kind of screwed with that. Right? And Jamie had a vet, but she a new vet, and yeah. she had the wrong husband right. <laughs> with her. He chose to beat on it with golf clubs and stuff. I would have beat on it, but not with golf clubs. Right. And she'd have had a smile on her face. Well, yeah. that truck's little compared to the trucks I had. Right. <laughs> yeah. She had uh, nice Nova, three monster Nova. trucks when I met her. I was into monster trucks in my 20s and just, I just got tired. Well, she's not even in her, stuff, she's not know. even in her 20s yet, so right, give right. her a chance. <laughs> I was back in Missouri and I just, just break, I'd always just, I was hard on stuff. And yeah, I used to mud race and that's where all my money went because I'd have to make sure I could make it to the mud pit the following weekend. Right. But I really think I need that. Yeah, well, do you, uh, is that for sale? Yeah. You got an idea, ballpark? 30,000. 30, yeah. Because all the work's yeah, done. I guess I don't need it. <laughs> I don't know. But you would, you would spend more than that to try to oh, replicate well, that. Sure. Yeah. 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 And see what Broncos are going for lately? This is a nice Yeah, and, and it's got everything year, done to it yeah. that you would want. Yeah. yeah. It's done right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got one plug for the harness. They run, it runs all the other four. It looks like, looks like Cummins and Ford were rubbing. And yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 I can the use that. The not cut. They cut the uh, valve cover and made a lid for it, so you don't have to cut huh. the firewall. So you can service the, you know, that cylinder. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, it's got you know, everything, AC, power, everything's Ford. And yeah. then one connector for the whole harness. Huh. Yeah, they did it right. It's got two compressors on it. It's got onboard air on both ends, plus for the airbags. Oh, it's got airbags? Yeah, in the back. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I wish I could peek at the motor. Yeah, yeah I think I locked her up. You did. Yeah. And I don't blame you. And I just had the hood latch cable you know repaired because yeah that's why it's locked now because before i because you can yeah, right. <laughs> yeah i understand completely all right well man thanks for inviting us out eric yeah. seen some cool stuff you have good taste Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a that's cool. It's got a Detroit thing. Yeah, it's got a born in Detroit in it. Um, eight V seventy one. Okay, follow you up front. Yeah. Mm, <coughs> Holy cow! The wagon, the suburban. Mania, Washington. That. It's got too much stuff, right? <laughs>